Hello world, guess what? I am on my way to Inzulazu. So come follow me and let's see what's in Inzulazu. I've heard that there are houses on a river. Is it really true? I broke my slippers by on the ground upstairs. It's broken. Look. I'm barefoot right now at the airport. This is how I'm doing it in Takraji till I find me some slippers. Peace out. world listen so this is Takrada it's actually beautiful I love it it's raining I wasn't expecting that but I'm gonna get me my sandals uh, can't wear it no longer so let's go is basically the area that landed. I I saw trees that actually produces rubber. The ones that rubber trees. I saw rubber trees and this is from my great tour guide here, aka my taxi driver. He's amazing. <laughs> so he says he's the tour guy as well. You're doing amazing. Thank you for that information. Behind me is the Atlantic Ocean. We're about to go to Islazu where they have the houses on the river. So let's all find out what Islazu is all about. My hat. Your name? Gideon. Gideon. Okay, thank you. So Gideon, how long have you lived here in in um, in I've been here all my life. We're we're videotaping. Okay, it's going to be on a YouTube video. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I've been there all my life. You were born here? Born, this particular <laughs> place is called Bein. Okay. Bein is the only place that you first have to come before taking the boat to, to Inzulezu. Inzulezu. So okay. Inzulezu itself is somewhere in the forest. Okay. That's where they live underwater. Okay. But from Bein to Inzulezu, it's about uh, seven uh, 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 kilometers. Seven kilometers. So maybe perhaps we're looking at about maybe five miles is what we're looking at. Okay. So here we are in Bain, in, in whereby Inzulezu is on our far left on the yes. side. Okay, it's about five miles away from us and that's where we're walking to. Looks like it's about to rain. How is it with the rain and then with the canoe? Is it, is it safe? Uh, it's, it's, it's safe. Okay. Safe. Okay. But you know, as we are in the boat going uh -huh. and then at the same time raining also, uh, there, there will be a rubber tent inside the boat that we will use it to scoop the water up. Okay. That's the only option. That's the only but option. That and the boat was going. Okay. And then sooner or later then you get there. Where's your life jacket? Are, are you a very good swimmer? Yes, I'm a very good swimmer. I started swimming when I was early two years. At an age of two, he started swimming, so he doesn't leave a, a life jacket as I do. It looks like it, it rains a lot quite here in Inzulezu, yeah, it, does it? It's been a month now. Okay. The, the, the whole place has been raining, 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 and then that's that. It has been raining nowadays. Right. Yeah, and then we are, we are almost into the rainy season. Just have to be careful. Okay, just have to be careful because there are some. All right, thank you. So how many passengers does this, what's the maximum? Is it 10, 20? 15. 15. That's a lot for a small boat. About three of them, which are very small. That one takes a maximum of 10 people. Okay. Here, when you come here in the month of January, February, March, and then April, during that period, whoever wants to go to Inzulazu, you have to walk. Oh, wow. for about 15 minutes walk. This is, this is a Kana. This is a man made Kana. Right. So it was like the other places. Here in the dry season, the, it, the whole place dries up. You can even see some, you can even see soil, you can walk inside. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. So when it happens like that, you have to walk 15 minutes right on the edge of the canal like this. You go there, there's also a, a place there that you have to sail. There are life jackets. The, all the boats will be packed somewhere. Okay. And then you continue from there. I but see. 
like I said, we're almost in the rainy season and the rain has started yes. coming right now. So here is full of water now. So there will be water inside uh, next year, 2023, January. Then the water the will water start was, was, down. Okay. And the girl that time, if someone wants to visit in Slot, you have to walk that distance. We have to walk that distance. Okay, sit down there and face this side. Sit here and face this side. Yes, sit down. Okay. I need the best swimmer sitting next to me. <laughs> this is the river Amansu. The river the name for it is River Amansu. Okay. What what does it mean? The, the Amansu is community. In the okay. Zuma community, you say Amai. Okay. Yeah. And the Zulu means the water. Mm. So Amansu. Okay. Yeah, that's community that is like river in English. The water for the community. Yes. Okay. Community. So basically, the the most language spoken in in Zulezu is in, in Zema. In Zema. Okay. But per the history, uh, they came all the way from Mali. Mali. Yeah, around okay. 14th to 15th century. But in Mali, as they were coming, they were led by a small god, and that, that small god is a form of a snail. Mm -hmm. So whenever the gods say something. The interpreter will interpret to the whole people and then they will get understanding and then to know where they are heading to and then where they should stop. Mm. Yeah, so as they were coming, they came with a language called Ewutile language. It's a Mali language. Okay. They brought that language all the way from Timbuktu. I don't know whether you have heard of I haven't that heard was, of, that, of Timbuktu. That, that was the place they migrated from. So when they came here, they were still speaking the Ewutile language, which is a Malian language. But they started between marketing with Ghanaians, getting married with them, and then all that, everything about them automatically it changed. vanished. Yeah. Yes. So now they are Ghanaians now, which they do everything as Ghanaians, food, they speak Ghanaian language, which is in Zama. Right. Yes, right at the moment. Okay. One. So I heard that on Thursdays, we do not cross the river. Is, is that is that a myth or is it something that is true? On Thursdays, the um, the people in here in the Benin or in the, in the Zulezu area do not cross this river to Zulezu. Is that true? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, there is. There are taboos about the river. But okay. The, the, there's nothing like uh, on Thursdays people don't cross the river. You just only Thursdays that they, you don't do fishing in the river mm -hmm. and the Mondays and then. After you have cooked your food, your soup, the silver, you don't have to put it in the water and then wash it. But you can fetch some of the water and wash your silver. Okay. And then also, after you have eaten the base, the steak that will left, you don't have to put it in the river. And then if you're a lady and then you are menstruating, if you are going to menstruate five days or a week, there is a special place for you to go and then you bath. You don't bath where the village is. So wow. here, automatically, when someone is menstruating, about half of the village see that <laughs> this particular person. Who was that? Yeah, you don't cross the river in that order. So over there, when you are menstruating, you don't cross the river like this. Oh. But when you get there, you see the, the, there is a big forest there. That's where they do their farming activities. Okay. So when you are menstruating, you don't have to go to you don't have to go to farm. You will be at home. And then everybody would, would know the situation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the only taboo. Right. Jesus. And then all those taboos are abide by people, the people living over there, not for the business. Okay. But if you're a visitor and then let's say you want to spend some days over there, and then let's say you just spend the night and then all of a sudden you just experience your. your you have your, to come back. Yeah. I don't know, but if you don't want to come back and they want to still live there and they want to bath, let's say if I'm the one you are there with, uh -huh. and then I'm from the village as well, so I will look for a sister or someone who is a lady. Okay. That lady will take you to that place for you to go and then you bath. I see. <laughs> That's interesting. Now, where we have gotten to, the depth of the water is four feet, five feet area. Okay. Four feet, five feet area. And then... We have tilapia, trigger fish, mud fish, catfish, all in this river. But no, then, no, no crocodiles. And there are crocodiles. I was going to ask. Alligators, snakes, frogs, and then others. But for crocodiles and then alligators, 
we have a particular point we sometimes see some of them. That place is called the jungle area. Okay. So when you get them, then we are lucky. You can see some crocodiles and then alligators. And then as for the river itself, this is just a small one. Okay. Very soon you get to the main one, which is around 25 feet. That one is ahead of us. Are those crocodiles wild? Can they overturn the canoes? No, it's just that uh, the people out there, about 50% of them, they eat the crocodile. Even not too long ago, I ate some crocodile. Jeez! There are some of them. Does it taste good? Very, very good. Oh you can even goodness. use a bit of it to finish all your, your fufu. <laughs> you, ha you have to chew it for long before before you can swallow it. <laughs> That's really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to chew it for long before you can swallow it. And then, like I was saying, there are some people they go deep inside the forest. Mm. They they put some traps over there that they they catch them to bait them. And okay. Then, yeah. So so when they catch them like this, they send it to the nearest community that they do sell some chobas and then all that. Then they they sell it. Yeah. So with all this, the animals themselves. Whenever they hear it's a bit of noise, then they, they decide did, to go far away. Okay, so that's interesting. So because they, they do know what the humans are about to do. <laughs> so the, the population is 500, but... Have they tried to grow rice? Because it looks like they, they have the water and, and rice does grow in water. Have they tried uh, to grow rice or do they already they, grow they, rice? They, people came all the way from Accra just to try it and see. But they found out that this particular area is much water and okay. then the soil too is very very it's hard. hard. Okay. So it's not good for the rice. Uh, rice. Let's see. So is there it's like let's say, you know, God forbid if somebody has an emergency, a medical emergency, are there hospitals there? Are there clinics there? Uh over there what they do is uh they, they have uh, a first aid place that you will first Go and then if you have an emergency, drugs. okay. Yeah, and then also per the history, at first when they came, they, they, there wasn't any hospital, there wasn't any like drugs or something. So they were using the leaves, the root of the plant, the natural medicine, it, just like they did it all the way from Mali. Only, right. yeah, because as they were coming, people got injured and then they combined some leaves and then and then they treat them. So even right at the moment, they still keeps that ongoing. Right now, when you go there, you could be see people who are selling all those drugs for visitors and then others. So they were using the leaves, the roots, and then at the moment, it's still going on. So when people got injured or when someone is sick, they will first have to take the person to the, the first aid place just to receive medicine, medications. And then before that, right after that, they take the person to the herbalist center to give the other person some drugs and then all that. But when it is complicated, when it is very serious, there is a reserve speed boat at the community. Mm -hmm. It's for the whole community. It's an emergency right. speed boat. You quickly take that person to the nearest hospital to, to receive medication. Okay. That's the only option. Okay. And then yeah. now where we have got into is the jungle area. Okay. This is where the Crocodiles. Yes, the crocodiles. <laughs> Sometimes you see monkeys jumping here and there. Oh. But like I said, the animals themselves, they are a bit scary. Right. Whenever they hear it, it's a bit of noise, and they decide to go far away. Mm. Is, is there electricity in Nzulezu? Yes. Where, where we took the boat, that village, where did I say the name of the village? Vain. Vain. Yeah. Yes. So when you continue ahead, when you drive ahead, uh -huh. you, let's say five minutes later, you get to a place called English Castle. They live on a dry land, just like the Bay people. But they are right behind the Zuzi people. It's only this big forest that separated the two. So when they connected the road, they could be seen from Zuzi to English Castle. It's a direct path. Okay. It's on the, 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 it's, it's, it's a direct path, yeah. So they can, they can like, connect the wire all the way from the forest to, to Ingrikado. Okay. Yeah, so they, 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 they generate the electricity all the way from Ingrikado. So but they live on a dry land. They live on the dry land. So in Inzulezu, do they have to cross over the river to come to school for the children that are students? Yeah, uh, there's a school there starts from class one up to class six. There's no kindergarten? There's kindergarten. Okay. Up to class six. So when you move to JHS, you have uh, to cross the morning, river. You have to, go to 
paying and after school you, you go back. Initially you were paddling during my time, you paddle a lot. You have so to paddle paddle and go to yeah, school. And but now they, do they have a now special there's a speed a speedboat like this. Okay. It takes all the kids to be in and at the same time takes them back. Right okay. Now. speed so how many speed boats are there in, in, in Zulezu? Uh, it's 15. 15. 15 speed boats. 15 for 500 population. Yes. Okay. But um, it's, 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 it's a private use. They are, Did they, they charge are all for them? Individuals. They are okay. all for individuals, individuals, not for the whole communities. Okay. So, and then, so for the people living over here, they live in families. Every compound is one family. And then each of the compounds has about 25 or 30 paddling pa boats. boats. Okay. That they take them, whoever wants to go somewhere, just pick one and then you go. And then here, every every person which is around three, four years at birth can swim and then paddle as well. Okay. Yes. That's beautiful. Did you make this? Yes. You made this, Mama? Oh my goodness. He's the one, she's the one fixing all of this, but it's his husband. It's the husband who did all of this. Okay. And then when the visitors come around, they, they will first write here, visit in 2022. Okay. And then your name will be written somewhere here. Fa, 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 ta, 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 ta. So, how old is this wood? Does it get renovated or? <laughs> yes, every six years. Okay. You change the spoiled ones, the rotten ones. Okay. And then replace them with another. Okay. Yeah. And then every single wood you see over here, a lot of them last six years. A lot of them last six years. So during the six years later, you have to quickly go to the forest, look for a new one, then replace the old one. So apart from the roofing and the nails, the rest of the materials, they get them deep inside the forest. So after you have gotten your materials, you alone cannot build a house. It's too hard for you. So you look for people to come and then help you. So it's just like a communal labor. During that time, all of us will come, you step inside the water, about 30 of us. Uh, about 30 what, of us. What's the yes, feet? four feet. Four feet. feet, okay. So when you stand inside, about six of us will gather the stamps, the pillars, the ones standing in the water. Mm -hmm. So when you raise it up a little bit, then you dip it inside, just like pound the fufu. To mm. wait, then you're doing it. To wait, then you're doing it. Right after that, we have a very big metal. We used to hit on top of the pillars to make it very firm, very stable. After that, then you build a structure on it. But for the pillars, Every six years, you change it and replace it every six years. But the structure itself lasts over 40 to 50 years. 40 to 50 years is how long the, tr the, the houses would last. You would think that because it's made of wood, maybe perhaps it might not last, but it lasts 40 to 60 years. Yes. So, until then, you yourself, you, you see the structure is too old. So, you go to the forest once again, you build a new house. When you build a new house, you pack your things from the old one, you put it in the new one, and then you collapse the old, old one. one. So when you yes. collapse it, where do you take it? You just use all the, the materials for firewood. Okay. Yes. Okay. Are you allowed to paint it? Yes, you are allowed oh. to paint it. You are allowed to paint it. But here, the cost of living is very, very high. So it's just that when you paint it, there will be a time that you have to keep painting it. And yes. Order. <laughs> Also, the funny thing, but I just paint them. So, with, with, with these houses, is it no, more of a, a bedroom, a living room, and then the kitchen, or is just only a bedroom? It's just a small hall and then the bedroom. That's all. Just a small hall that you can sit there, watch your TV, and then there's a small room right inside the same building that your bed, your, your 
clothes ah, and then you sleep there. So it's just a hole and then the bedroom. So they, it looks like they've, they've got a market here also. They've got their own market. Uh, they, they, they have for market, they go to the town and then they do market. Okay. But apart from that, there are small, small stores that they sell the pepper, the onion, small, small things that that one you get it from here. And then here, every avenue like this is one family. One family. This, way I this is your family here. So who is this? That's grandma. Yeah, that's grandma and then grandpa. Oh, okay, that's grandma and grandpa. Okay, so when you grew up, did you ever come back here, or you do you come you come to visit? Uh, uh, of course, I can. I can't abandon my own family. family. Or my own. I was going to ask that. When that was the next question, I said it, it's so hard for me to to ask that. You know, when when you grow up, do you do they stay or they? Yeah, they... yeah, yeah. A lot of them they travel to Takwa. They you know all those bigger bigger cities just to look for jobs and then all that. Right after they completed SHA. Okay. But during vacation, Christmas, they do come back. Okay. So how do we say uh, good today? Right now is what good afternoon is. Evening. So you combine it, you say Inche no more no. Inche no more no. Yeah, yeah, ja. So that's my room. That's your room. The group. So now who lives there? Your sister? No, 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 no. Uh, the one sitting there is my elder brother's wife. Okay. And then there's another room. That that one is mine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Long one. Now it's your boy. Point out a single thing over here that you can fitly say that it was done by the government. There's nothing. So everything, everything is, is done by the community. By the community. And then just right behind us, there's a new drinking bar. Just in case you want to flush you your house. Look at that in Inzulezu. I love that. Fun in Inzulezu, that's a bar, a qua bar to Inzulezu, Echo Bar. Echo Bar. Echo Bar. Look at that. That is amazing. Yeah, bar man, come and give me something to fill my house. Is this your place here? Are you the bartender? Yeah, that's my place. That's your place here, okay. All right, so basically the people from Ezulezu, when they're tired, then they come here and just relax and drink and eat. The toys that they came here. Right, they came here, I see. that okay when they can be they were using it so as you see it like this it cures a lot of diseases we have one for menstruation pregnancy scars mom power a lot you just have to see the owner and then she will give us a lot the more advice So Gideon, on, on a house that is built on, that is surrounded by water, there must be a breed of mosquito. Are there a breed of mosquito during the day, during yeah, yeah, the night? Yeah, 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 yes, it's true. Yeah, there are, there are mosquitoes. It's, it's, it's not too There are not too much mosquitoes. There are not too, why is that? Is it, 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 is
give out their eggs to breed the young ones. They are not able to breed them just because the fish comes around and then swallow all the eggs in the water. Okay. And then there is the shrine. There. So there is a shrine. Yeah. So every is it right here across there? Yes. Yeah. That one's separated over there. That's oh, all the way over there. No, no. That's just one. this one. Yeah. Just this okay. So every 15th April in every year, they do sacrifice for the gods. They use fowl, sheep. Mm, I see. Okay, so what is the last trip for the tour? The time. Oh, yeah, what, it's, it's mm -hmm. what time is the last trip? It's, it's 6, six o'clock. So after 6 o'clock, everything is closed. No coming in, yes. going out. I see. If it's 6 o'clock and you're tourist and you're still here, what do you do? Uh, but when you come before... Six o'clock and then you are still around that one. It's a different thing altogether. Okay. By six o'clock and you are being and they want. I was thinking maybe they will build a house for you. You <laughs> they have an apartment for you so they can stay. Maybe yeah, we'll, just, we'll let him stay. There's just a, sm a, a small guest house. Okay. Here. But it's just the bed. Mm. inside the room there's nothing more okay and then you request for a food and then they will do it for you is this this is a kindergarten no this uh, are a queer cafe this is a cafe yeah it's not a classroom yeah no it's a it's like a restaurant so here yeah, they give out so below foodies <laughs> you know all those local fruits around okay they, is there a classroom that's the school that's the school mm, be careful Hello. So, some some of, of the teachers who get posts from different parts of the country, once you become a teacher here in Nzulezu, of course you have to live here in Nzulezu. So this is, I would say, this is the um, the teacher's bungalow for Nzulezu. Gideon, let me ask. So, this is what class is this? Is this class six? This, I, this is class six. This is class six. I, I kind of figured. So how many people? How many pe people sit on on this? Uh, about fifteen. Fifteen per class. Okay. Do we have students that were from here in Zulezu and now in the universities? And uh, yes. Uh, we, how many percentage? Two. 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 So two people from in Zulezu. They, they have completed university. You have completed and universities. One also, they have graduated from a nursing training. Okay. So why is that? There are only two. Is it because financially they're not able to, or it's just that they decide not, not to continue with the education? Uh, here, at first, it was like they were, they were not going to school. At first, a lot of them, they, 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 their parents would take them all to the forest just to farm or something. They, 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 were, they, were, they were not schooling at all. The interest wasn't there. Yeah, the interest wasn't there. Like a lot of them, when they competed from SHS, uh, the financial assistance is not there. It's not there at all. So, yeah, they just cut it off just like that and then look for uh, 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 a different path. For a job in Takwadi, whatever, just to mm. that's all. Do you think that they're ready to do a relocation? Um, ready for a change at all? Uh, right now, a lot of them have, have settled here that if the government wants to relocate them to a dry land, uh, unless there is a certain big condition of service for them, like, I don't think they will go. And I agree to it because you, you can't move one from its location when you haven't settled them that they feel like is it would be more, more beneficial or, yes. or much better. Yes. So they might as well remain yes. here. Yes. I understand. It makes so, sense. Yes. A lot of them feel life over here is is it's difficult but it's much also okay for them because here no quarreling, no fighting, no messing of somebody, no their life will be it's peaceful. Very, very it's peaceful. peaceful, friendly. Very, very peaceful. Peaceful and friendly. Right now, assuming someone has a shortage of something, and then, you know, if you short of something, and then there are no big markets over here that you can go there, quickly buy some, and then maybe They can borrow it. without can, yes, any you hesitation. Can, you, you go to their friends, they borrow the next two days or the next day, they give money to someone to buy some from Bain and then bring it to them. The life over here is very simple. 
just because you know they live isolated there's nothing like other community on the river or something just yes. like them over here they yes live here alone and then there's no there's no police station or something over here because there's no crime to, you can, you can, you can, you can, there's nothing like you can you want to you can run away right yeah so plus there's no crime yes simple life that's what they do over here they just love themselves and then here, everybody knows everybody. Everybody. I could tell, because yeah. when you were walking, people rec recognize yeah. you. And the case over here, like you see them, like some of them, they do, about a week, during the evening time, they don't eat from their mothers. They just go to their... Neighbors. Na yes, and then, then, then and it's, they it's, it's and not a big deal. Yeah. Yes. That's what they do. Yeah. Is this the community bathroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The toilet. Mm. The, with this one, as you see it like this, does not have the contact with the water. Because mm. with this kind of water, they use it for cooking, drinking, and the nice days. They don't boil it, they don't treat it. They just fetch it and then start using it. And then they just drink everywhere. They paddle to the middle of it. They fetch it, they put it into the house for cooking and for the drinking one. But for washing of plate, clothes, they just fetch right in front of the house. And then use it. So how do they excrete it? Is there this a special one, machine? Yeah, this one. At first, it was uh, a biofuel one, which was working hundred percent, but now it has spoiled. So when you are done, you just fetch some of this water. You pull it inside. There is a very big pipe under it. Mm -hmm. it takes everything to a certain to the small certain portion side. of dry land Okay. There. They have used that place as a cemetery. It's, it's a dry land that, whenever there's a heavy rain, that place is a dry land. Mm. That's where they do bury people over there. That's where everything goes to. Yes, it's about 200 meters away from here. Okay. Just a small portion of dry land. Let's say a uh, skull of it would be like, let's say 25 meters, 25 meters. They have books? That's my mom. That's your mother? Yeah. Okay. Let's go say hello to Gideon's mom. And how was the greeting again? And no, and no, my no. This one, they will just leave a small portion over here. They will go for all this one, the mortar. Then they spread it, and then they use the same water and then make it a way like this. Every mother over here knows how to, to do, do this. that. Yeah. So that's why we all come together. This one needs a strong guys to do it. Right. <laughs> yes, so we all go to the forest. There are a lot more. There are even small, small valleys yeah. over there, like like a mountain, small, mm -hmm. small, yeah, about a lot of them. So you go there, use the hole to bring it out and then you put it in bags like this and mm. then the same thing in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. So this is how they cook. Right. So this is basically, this is the kitchen area. Gideon, would you be able to tell what, what is the um, the lifespan for the oh, people like, of, of Inzulezu? Do they live up to 100 yes, years? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they grow older before they die. Like 120, 190 before they die period. Yes. Is there any common sickness in, in the Inzulezu community? Malaria. malaria because of, of, of the mosquitoes. So yeah. that's the part. There's no yeah, high blood pressure, no. diabetes, and stuff like that. No. But for someone to give birth, there are two women. They practice as traditional birth at Anna. Those two women, they are very old. So during that period, if someone wants to give birth, they will use the same leaves, the roots, they know a certain kind of drugs for you to do before the day that you are about to, to give birth. birth. So during that period, they will be sleeping with you. They will always make sure where you are, they are, they are, they are with you. So during that period, they help you to deliver your baby. So are they teaching the young teaching ones the young that are, are yes. coming how to? The itself is there. The trees are around. Okay. And they are teaching them how to bring the babies out. And then, how how yeah. to to deliver? Yes. All right. Yeah, a lot of them have been giving birth over here. But sometimes it makes it serious. It's, it's, it's kind of a complicated thing. But when it happens like that, the same speedboat that acts as an emergency speedboat takes that the, person to, to the, the nearest to the hospital. Nearest hospital. Sometimes they're on the old way and then she just delivered inside the boat. 
have babies survived here? How many how many percentage of babies have survived here, giving birth in Inzulezu? For, for that one, yeah. Uh, I can't tell. You can't but tell, but have, have survived. Been. Okay. Because now I was giving birth. Right. In here, in Inzulezu. Yes. Wow. Yeah, is that yeah, a little yeah, girl yeah. paddling the canoe? Did you just see that? Uh, How old do you let, think? Let us paddle. Who, me? Huh? <laughs> There's a paddle boat. No, sir. Yeah, just around. You paddle around. <laughs> So during the, the COVID-19 season, did it ever hit in Zulezu? Uh, for COVID-19, we did not encounter such a problem over here. Wow. No one, not a single person. Not a single person. Wow. The COVID-19. And then during that period, business was closed. Tourism was closed. closed. There were no people coming, coming in to yeah. Zulezu. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm.